packing the day before a trip and then realizing that all the stuff that you were gonna wear is dirty. $79, okay, I bought a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm looking up travel toiletry bags. You drank too much. That. Did you guys hear that? Wait, I'm scared. Mainly my school to-do list for the week. Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Starting an official travel prep vlog. I'm leaving for Costa Rica in one week and I literally could not be more excited, but I'm the type of person that is crazy when it comes to travel and I just want to make sure that I am fully prepared. So I'll start like shopping and packing and like creating lists and doing laundry and cleaning my apartment and stuff like that literally a week in advance and so that's where we're at. So I'm picking up the camera to bring you guys along with me and to kind of like show you guys, I guess, how I prep before I travel a week in advance. So that means like laundry, making a list of things that I might need for my trip, uh, starting to pack, making a packing list, so on and so forth. I've kind of just do a little bit of everything so I don't feel rushed. I hate feeling like I only have like one day to get stuff done. And I also feel like that's a good way to forget stuff when you go on your trip and forget to do things and stuff like that and so we're avoiding but i'm so excited because i haven't been on a trip in obviously like over a year because of quarantine and i know everyone has been in that same position so i don't know if i mentioned this in this vlog but i am going to costa rica for an entire week but i've never been to costa rica so i don't really know what to expect we've done a little bit of research we're staying at two really really nice hotels and we booked some tours and stuff like that but neither of us have ever been and i literally just could not be more excited to get there so i'm like anxiously awaiting next week to get here so that we can like fly and have a good time and just take a break from school and work and stuff like that but i figured i'd take you guys along with me today is wednesday and i have a day off from work so i'm starting the preparation now the thing that i always do like first before i travel is make sure that all of my laundry is done so that I have everything that I want to pack prepped ahead of time. There's literally like nothing worse than packing the day before a trip and then realizing that all the stuff that you were going to wear is dirty. So I did a load a couple days ago and now I'm going to do the last load now and I'm just going to put all the stuff that I wash that I know I want to bring off to the side so I don't wear it this week or next week so it doesn't get dirty again. So this is the last load that I have. So that's how I'm starting off my day. I'm going to go ahead and drop this off in the laundromat and while this is in the laundry machine I think I'm going to go get a coffee because I haven't had a coffee yet today and it is noon. I also haven't eaten anything so maybe I'll get like a coffee and a croissant. I'm not entirely sure but I figured that would be like a good easy day activity. I'm trying to take it easy today. I'm actually like very exhausted work and school and it doesn't help that the weather is like super gloomy today so I woke up this morning and didn't even really want to get out of bed but I literally forced myself to get out of bed so here we are we're even dressed so that's a win in my book all right the laundry has been done and I pretty much hung everything up to dry I don't really dry a lot of clothes, I only dry like pajamas, underwear, and socks and stuff like that. This is all like workout clothes and t-shirts and jeans and stuff. Also, as you guys saw, I got a coffee from this little coffee co shop called Boris and Horton in the East Village. It's actually a dog coffee shop, so like you can bring your dog there to co-work with you and like eat and drink coffee and stuff like that. They also do like wine nights, really cool place, but I got a cold brew with vanilla and cream. Pretty good. Now that that's done, I'm gonna change my pants really quickly because they're actually like really uncomfortable. I bought these jean shorts from Urban Outfitters a couple months back, I think, like before the summer, and they fit really well when you try them on, but after you walk around in them for a while, they like ride up really weirdly and like my butt hangs out and I just have to keep pulling them down. And they're just not the most comfortable jean shorts to wear, so I think I'm gonna change into something a little bit more comfortable, probably some like running shorts or something like that. And then I'm gonna run to Target. I have a list of things that I wanna get in my notes app. I need to get like toothbrush, travel toothbrush case, more toothpaste, and a bunch of like other little things that I need to pick up for the trip. I just don't have because we obviously haven't traveled in like a year. A few things that I need to pick up and I just figured that today would be a good day to do that. Also, it's like not too hot outside. So going up and down my stairs and like going back and forth from my apartment like really isn't that big of a deal today. So gonna change my shorts and then head out to Target. None of this matches, but whatever. I'm wearing my Converse. I haven't worn these, like, I feel like at all this summer I bought them. So excited to wear them for summer because they're such a fun color and I keep forgetting that they're in my closet. So I'm keeping them on my feet, but I'm changed into Nike shorts and then my little athletic top. So this is 
the new mixed matched outfit. <laughs> this honestly like does not look good. I probably will change the shoes even though I do really like them and want to wear them. I just got back from Target and I got literally $79 worth of travel stuff from Target. So I'm going to do a little bit of a haul. I want to preface this by saying that typically I have the majority of travel stuff like already in my kitchen or my kitchen sink, my bathroom sink. And I have like a little to go travel bag type of situation. But since we haven't been traveling in quarantine, I haven't had that. So I needed to restock on pretty much everything. And this stuff isn't just for this Costa Rica trip. I'm also going to Miami at the beginning of September. And then I'm going home for an entire week to Virginia in the middle of September. So I'll probably use this exact same stuff for both the Miami trip and the Virginia trip as well. So I feel like it's money well worth spent, even though I literally was like checking out and was like, ah, $79. Okay, I bought a lot of stuff. Also, to be fair, a lot of the stuff like is on the pricier side. Dry shampoo is just so expensive. Sunscreen is so expensive. Makeup wipes are so expensive. Like anything that you need to be a girl is stupid expensive, but we're not even gonna get into that rant now, are we? No. So I'm just gonna pull it out of the bag in no particular order. First thing I got is this Batiste Dry Shampoo Original. I was out of this at my apartment in general. This is my favorite shampoo. I've tried numerous other shampoos and nothing ever works as well as this one works. I feel like it blends in really well. It smells super good and honestly it just helps my hair out a lot. The other two that I have in my bathroom sink that I've been using for the past week or two they almost leave like a hairspray like texture so it makes my roots like super hard and gross. This is my go-to, it will always be my go-to. They have it in different scents as well, but I always just get the original. So I'll bring, I'll be bringing this with me to Costa Rica. Then I got the Banana Boat Tanning Dry Oil. Don't worry, this isn't the only sunscreen that I'm bringing. I, I'm well aware that this is only SPF 8 and it's with coconut oil, so there is potential for me to fry. I also have SPF 30 and SPF 50, I think, up on my counter. I like had that just handy in my apartment. So I already have like regular sunscreen, but I wanted a little bit of a tanning oil, hoping to get some color while I'm there so I'm no longer this pale. Then I got two toothbrush, one for me, one for my boyfriend, just like as a little travel toothbrush. I didn't want to bring the one that I had in my apartment. So bought these, they were cheap, they were like four bucks. The only thing that I need that I couldn't find at Target because their travel section is a little bit limited, which makes me think that a lot of people are traveling right now are the little caps that go on the toothbrush that you, you know, like when you travel, you want to put the caps on the toothbrush so that the head doesn't get dirty and you're not like putting it in your mouth and stuff like that. That's the only thing I couldn't find that in Travel Purell. So I'll probably go on Amazon a little bit later and see if I can like order those by next week to get shipped here. Then I got some wet ones. These are sensitive skin hand and face wipes, fragrance free. I just figured these would be good to have handy in my backpack or my suitcase or something like that. We have like an all day excursion that we're going on in Costa Rica. It's literally like a 10 hour excursion. It's like a hike and a bunch of other little things. So this is probably good to keep my backpack just in case like our hands or our skin or anything get like dirty. Then I bought travel size daily moisturizing lotion. I didn't want to bring like my massive Jergens lotion thing that I have in there because it's literally this big and that'd be so obnoxious to bring in a suitcase. So I bought an Aveeno travel size lotion. Then I bought my favorite duo for skincare. I bought the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser for normal dry skin. And then I bought the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion for dry, normal to dry skin. These are both like my skincare combo go-tos. I have like the big bottle of those in my cabinet. And like I said, I just didn't want to bring, I didn't want to like be obnoxious and bring like massive sizes of things because I just don't think that's practical. The only thing that I'll be bringing that's full size are my shampoos because my shampoos don't come in travel size and I am checking a bag. But everything else I just was like, I might as well just get a travel size because like I said, not only can I use it for Costa Rica, but I can also use it for like Miami and when I go to, why did I say Miami like that? Miami and Virginia, so travel size of those. Then I got some travel size makeup wipes. I don't really like wear that much makeup when I'm on vacation because, or when I, let me rephrase that. When I go to like tropical places or like beachy locations or places where I know I'm gonna be in like water a lot, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. But on the occasion that I do wear makeup, I wanted to have some makeup wipes. Then I bought a first aid kit. I just figured this is like a good thing to throw in my backpack has band-aids, cleansing wipes, gauze, and stuff like that. This is just like a really good thing to have in general, even like walking around the city. I should probably keep one of these in my backpack at all times. And I didn't have one, so first aid kit to go. 
a thing of tissues not gonna bring this whole pack we'll probably only bring one or two but tissues are also just a good thing to have in your bag so needed these anyways then i bought some toothpaste i couldn't find travel toothpaste which is like very odd to me like i said their travel section you know the little bins that ha you have in like grocery stores but particularly like target and walmart where they have like travel size of things those like 75 percent of them were empty and i just couldn't find a lot of the travel size things so i just got full size toothpaste which is fine anyways because i'm out of toothpaste in my apartment so it works out then the last few things that i got i got travel size body wash this is the body wash that i use in my shower now anyways so bought the travel size version some travel q-tips these are just good to have on hand and then some floss i'll probably only bring one of these but Floss is also just a good thing to throw in a little travel bag. Like I said, this was all like $79 total. And I know it's a lot of stuff, but as I was saying before, I just don't have that many travel things anymore because we did, weren't able to travel for so long. And another thing that I want to purchase that I couldn't find a good one of at Target is like a little clear or cute travel pouch to put all this stuff in. So to put my toothbrush in, to put my lotions in, to put my face wash in. I only really have a makeup pouch and typically I just throw this stuff in like a plastic bag but I honestly figured that it would be good to invest in like a little five or ten dollar travel pouch so that's something that I'm going to be looking for on Amazon a little bit later today so like the only things that I didn't get out of this haul were the travel pouch to put all this stuff in, travel Purell and then little caps to go on top of the toothbrush but everything else Target pretty much had and Keep in mind that these are also New York prices, so this probably would have been like 40 bucks anywhere else, but because I live in one of the most expensive cities, this is like 80 bucks. But I got everything I needed, which is the most important part, and I think I'm like pretty much all set. I don't think I really need to buy anything else other than the things that I listed. That's my little travel essential haul. If you guys are traveling soon, maybe this will give you some ideas of things that you need to buy for your travel excursion type situation. I know that I always tend to forget things, so while I was there, I literally went in with like a list of six things and came out with like 15 things so like as you're there you probably just like pick up things off the shelf like I do like oh that would be good to have oh that would be good to have oh that would be good to have like I didn't have this on my list I didn't have this on my list this this so on and so forth so maybe this will give you some ideas if you're traveling soon So I'm looking up travel toiletry bags now and I don't know if I want something that hangs like can hang on the back of a door so I can see everything with clear pouches or if I want something just like this where I can throw it in. I'm kind of thinking this but I also don't want it to be too big. This is kind of cute. I can't decide. I'm super indecisive when it comes to this stuff. It normally takes me a while to pick something out but I'm kind of under a time crunch now because I just realized that I needed this. And I needed to get to me before next week. Maybe instead of typing in travel toiletry bag, I'll just do toiletry bag and see if any different options pop up. This is another thing that I do prior to traveling is I always travel with this massive North Face backpack, it's honestly so dirty. I like need a new one of these. The pocket's ripped, it is what it is. But I don't use it that often, so I don't really want to invest in a new one at the moment. But I go through and I clean out the bags that I want to bring because they get so dirty so fast. And I just want to be able to have like a clean bag for vacation. Just like random Motrin bills just like floating around that need to go in the trash and other stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead, yeah, you know, like. I literally have no clue how long this is in my backpack, it's popcorn. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to clean this out so that I can restock it with everything that I'm gonna need. That's all clean. Lots of random stuff in here. Lots of stuff that needs to be thrown away. I'm gonna actually put some of the stuff that I took out back in just because I think it would be useful to have like pens and pencils, chapstick. I don't need any of this. Clorox wipes are good to have. But now it's all clean and ready for traveling. That way I only have stuff in here that I like actually need and it won't be gross and I won't be like digging through random stuff to get to like my passport or anything like that. Now that I've done like all of my 
travel prep and stuff for the day i think i'm gonna take a quick intermission to go to the gym this is kind of i guess related to traveling i just try to like eat healthy and work out and stuff like that prior to traveling especially the week prior to traveling because once you're traveling you know that like you're gonna be eating out a lot you're probably not gonna be exercising a ton you want to like get to the place and like feel like your best self but also feel like you can indulge and like really experience it without worrying about what you're eating how many steps you've taken during the day like stuff like that so i feel like for me it's important to feel healthy and to feel good the week before i travel so i'm making it a priority to go to the gym today and hopefully every single day until we leave because i just want to feel like my best self and i don't want to feel gross when i get there and i don't want to feel gross traveling and i get a quick workout and i'll probably do 12 3 30 or the stairmaster or something like that i'm not entirely sure it's going to be like a game time decision but i'm just going to take a quick break from packing doing schoolwork and stuff like that now to head to the gym and then i'm going to come back and make a healthy dinner and just relax for the evening I'm back from the gym clearly I took a shower just didn't wash my hair because it didn't need to be washed and then ate dinner crawled into bed I'm watching new girl and gonna get started on some schoolwork I wanted to just quickly touch on like what I'm planning on doing with school for this week that I'm gonna be gone because I am gonna be gone for a week and I do technically still have class for that week that I'm gone I feel like this is interesting because I feel like a lot of people just show that they like get up travel and go off to wherever they want to go and for me that's not realistic I have a full-time job I have school I have YouTube so it takes a lot of preparation on my end in order to have a non-stressful trip where I'm not thinking about work YouTube school and stuff like that so for YouTube I'm obviously like pre recording and pre planning videos so that I can release them while I'm gone that's like easier but for school it's a little bit harder because I have new assignments that are due each week obviously you guys would know that if you watch any of my other vlogs if you haven't watched any of the other vlogs and you guys are new around here I am a part-time grad school student I'm doing grad school 100% online which for me works really well with my schedule because like I was saying I do have a full-time job and I do do YouTube and stuff like like that but it is time consuming in the sense that each course that I take is only seven weeks long so we have a whole semester's worth of content that gets shoved into seven weeks which means that I have probably more assignments due in one week than the typical grad school class I actually pre-plan my what was that did you guys hear that wait I'm scared I don't know what that was. Okay, update. The thing that fell was my razor in the shower, so that's good. I literally thought someone was like breaking into my apartment or like my kitchen was falling apart or something, but it was just my razor. But what I was saying is that I wanted to share like how I'm prepping to go away for a week and gonna manage grad school because like I said, my class is technically still going on while I'm away, but I do want to be able to relax and not have to do homework. So I'm essentially doing two weeks worth of homework in one week, which Sounds like a lot, but I compiled a list. So I bought this notebook from Target a while back and I just use it for like my to-do list notebook. So I put my school to-do along with like this week to-do, but mainly my school to-do list for the week up here. And so I combined module five, which is this week's work with module six, which is next week's work so that I can cross it off as I go. And my goal is to have all of this done by the time that I leave next week. So literally I'm doing two weeks worth of work within one week I feel like that's just the reality of being a student but also like wanting to have a life like I wouldn't be able to enjoy my vacation and go on vacation and not worry about schoolwork if I didn't do all this stuff in advance dressing myself out a little bit this week and pushing myself this week to get work done so that I can relax next week not really having a great time with it but I know that it'll pay off in the end so that's definitely what I'm busy with a lot this week too is not only packing but making sure all my schoolwork is done YouTube videos are edited and my work work will I don't have to do anything for that it'll just be there when I leave and be there when I get back so mainly YouTube and school so just trying to set myself up for success but if you're a student and you're going on vacation and you're trying to plan trips and you just don't think that it's doable with your schedule I promise it's doable you just kind of have to put in the hard work prior to leaving and I know that I also have a benefit because I am doing school online if you're not online and you are in person I totally understand that this might not be doable for everyone but if you do do online school or online grad school or something like I do it is possible you just have to 
put in the work ahead of time but I just wanted to address that because I did say earlier I'm excited to take a break from work and school I have to literally push myself this week in order to be able to take a break next week so it doesn't come without a price but I don't mind it anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because I'm gonna do a separate packing vlog when I actually pack on Sunday I'm gonna pack like my clothes and suitcase and carry-on bag and all that stuff so if you like travel vlogs and more travel videos stay tuned for that because that'll be coming out after this video but i just want to go ahead and end off this video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog and i hope you got a glimpse into how i pack and prepare for traveling I hope you guys got some good ideas out of it and stay tuned for not only the packing vlog but also the costa rica vlogs because i will be vlogging while i'm there and i'm really excited for it so stay tuned for that and if you're not subscribed already subscribe down below so you don't miss any of those videos but i'll see you guys next time bye